Alright, we can see we got... I don't know, how many babies do we got? We got five! Two! Five! Who knows? Hey. Look! All of the other ones didn't pop out. Is that one going to grow up? Yeah, they're all going to grow up. So, so we won't sell them? Well, we're going to keep a few for us, but then the rest are going to go to people as pets. Oh, this one should be for us. Uh... Show it, show it to us. Oh, so cute. Are we going to keep this one? Maybe. Yeah. I, there's one that's pretty orange. I, that might be it. The one that has a lot of orange, I think we'll keep. Betsy even has a winky or coochie. <laughs> Let's do it. Sorry, the air conditioning was on. What do we need to do? Let's look if it has a winky or a coochie. Let's see if it has a winky or a coochie. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. We'll, we'll do that later. Once they, once they all come out, then we're going to check which ones are boys and girls. Let's see even some of them are girls or boys. Okay. I love when they just pop their little head out. Yeah. Oh, there's no red stuff. That's some on a, on that snake. On this snake. Oh, that one, the egg. The eggs have a little bit of blood vessels. Oh. Wow, you saw that. I didn't even see that. Hi. You know what? Yeah. They pop their little heads out. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, but it's just like, I can't help it. Boop. Boop. Not cool. We're going to boopsy boop them. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I've always just kind of shared with you what works for me and some people disagree with me some people really don't like that I do this but I'm not here to please everyone I'm here to just kind of show you what works it works for me and uh, I've been accused of water boating my animals but I think that it makes a really big difference some people will take out all the babies and stick them in a container with some really shallow water uh, they have like membrane from the egg all over them and eventually it comes off when they shed also but you have to clean this stuff up or else bacteria can build and everything so i like to take them rinse them spend some time gently you know handling them and that way it's like the first experience they've ever had is me kind of handling them washing them and it makes them more used to you I truly believe that. And some people will say that doing this is just terrifying them, and I disagree. Differing opinions, but fun fact, if you were to take a snake and hold it under water for like 20 minutes, it still wouldn't die. So it's like snakes, when I, when I rinse them, they're not drowning or anything, they're totally fine. We're just doing that to help them clean up lukewarm water it's not freaking out or anything when a snake gets scared it like wiggles quickly and harshly but it's not scared i'm just giving it a nice little rinse so you see me handling it it kind of just kind of calms it down and gets it used to being handled right from the beginning because if i just take these and i put them away and i don't handle them you could say they're fresh born, they don't need to be handled, you don't want to mess with them. But to me, this little bit of handling, right from the beginning when they're born, it just kind of sets the road to the future. It makes them used to being handled right from the beginning. And I, I don't usually even wash my snakes in general. During their life, every time they shed, they'll be clean. But once in a while, a snake will make a big nasty poop and get it on themselves, so... That's the only time I might give them a nice little rinse. Because you don't want to leave your snake covered in poop. <laughs> so it's the first time being handled. And you can feel them kind of, you know. You can feel when a snake gets excited, when it gets a little bit scared. It almost is like a, um, like a flex when you flex, when you contract. At first they might just contract a little bit. And then once they realize, because they're just like, oh my goodness, what's going on? But once, once you handle them a bit, and you're gentle and soft, they, they calm down. And from the time they're born, they haven't experienced anything in their life. So they haven't really, like, they can, they, from this point on, 
they develop their personality. And if they are scared and fearful, they'll just get more scared and fearful and more like run away and everything. But if you have them and you calm them down from the time that they're little and you teach them to kind of just be okay, then they're gonna stay that way their whole life. Avery's such a groocher poocher. She's she's like a little mini teenager already. I think that this stage, doing that little bit of extra work makes a big difference. And I'll stand by that. I don't think that that stress the animal because the animal doesn't even <laughs> kind of know what stress is yet. Like it's it, it just came into the world and its first experience is being handled by Papa. Handling from the time that they're born teaches them to be used to being handled and teaches them that it's okay and it's just there's this big dude, he's my friend and he handles me and he cleans me and he takes care of me and having this animal to me it does the opposite it, it gives them it gives them confidence it makes them you know not afraid and they'll be more likely to be willing to explore and less afraid less hiding less running away more confidence and eventually they'll be able to just kind of come to you and when you open up their home, you can kind of just touch them and say, hey, I'm coming to get you. And then they realize, okay, I'm not getting fed. It's playtime. And I'm gonna get to go and explore. Yeah, you can go. The thing that I'm gonna do now, probably don't need to do this, but I, I like to be like extra, extra clean. So I remove all the empty eggs. They've made guck everywhere, and that guck turns into bacteria, and the bacteria is yucky, and we don't want yuckiness all over the last few babies, right? The water doesn't ruin them or anything. It actually helps them to stay moist, be soft, and be easier. And that more comes in that you wash it again? Yeah. back it's the next day or the day after that i'm not sure but they've all come out they've all been cleaned and it might get a little bit crazy now i i kept counting but i've been wrong so maybe we'll count them now and take a look uh, they might all start going nuts there's one that's a little bit nasty but we'll, we'll do some work with that one and it'll it'll calm down so let's let's start counting them okay that's one I'm gonna kind of take them out as they try and get out that way. Maybe the others stay calm or they might all just start taking off all at once. Woo! There's a second one. We'll see if Mr. Nasty or Mrs. Nasty shows up eventually. Oh, it's focusing on the snakes. Three. Mm -hmm. They all have little different head stamps. And some are a little bit lighter. I like the ones that have like, the, see this one kind of looks like it's got a little bit more orange. So that makes me happy. This one too looks like it's a little bit orange. And I lost crank count. This is number four. I have to block the babies or else it doesn't focus. I have to cut my nails too. There's baby number four. Now this baby, number five, this is the only one that has this, but as you work with a pile of babies and stuff, you start to see kind of what's going on. And this one's kind of got a little bit of yolk in its belly, so it's a little chunky. The other ones aren't like that. It looks okay, but what we're gonna do with this one is this one is gonna actually get put into the incubator for another couple days, just the added moisture and heat Will hopefully help it absorb. Photos. Number six, there we go. Number seven. Mm 
number eight. They're all being pretty good. I like how this one has like this long kind of stretched part pattern behind its, uh, like at the top of its neck. Do snakes have a neck? I don't know. Number nine. Oh, this one kind of has that thing too. I wonder if they all have that kind of stretched little mark. Some of them have perfect patterns. Some of them are a little bit broken up and stuff. But that's what's cool. Every single one is just a little bit different. And some are more like gray and some are more orange. And we have an escapee. This is number 10. Number 10. It's a nice beefy one. Eleven. Seems nice and orange too. Twelve. These things are so little and cute. Thirteen. And number fourteen. I guess Mr. Nippy wasn't as nippy. There we go. So that's fourteen nice healthy babies. One with a little bit of yolk in it, but I think it should get better. This one looks really dark. Nice contrast. And now we're going to take a look at the sad stuff. This one was trying to get out of the egg, but it didn't, it didn't really, it looked like it's kind of developed, but it kind of slid the egg, but got stuck, but doesn't really look developed. So this is the only one that looks like it could have maybe made it, but it didn't. And then these next ones are little, like, de deformed, like they're not, you see, it's got a funny shaped head, so it just didn't develop properly or something, but it's not good. We got like a little, we got like a little cyclops kind of thing going on, see that? little cyclops head. It's like you've got a helmet on its head or something. Ooh. If you're not ready for the commitment of subscribing, that's okay. I understand. It's a big step. And I post a lot of videos. So if you don't want to know every time I post a video, you don't have to subscribe. Just give me a like. Do it for Avery. Right? Yeah. Yeah, do it for Avery. Yeah. What do they got to do? Smash a like button. Good girl. Check out this video or this video and have a good one.